Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody! I think I got my computer fixed this time. <laughs> this is Road to Dusk. Um, you can call me Road or Dusk, anything that you would like to call a friend. Um, for those that are just hopping in or unfamiliar with my content, I am a variety streamer that just recently hit affiliate. Oh, and Top Hat is already getting the game set up. Let's switch over to the capture. Here we go. Oh, uh oh. I am seeing multiple of Top Hat. Give me just a moment. game out and plug it back in. Oh, nope, I think to our beautiful home. And everyone is moo poo poo. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities. A spectacular One, two, three. Let's see if that works. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, you got this. Hold on just a sec. It's wanting to be buggy. Yeah, older Elgato capture cards do this. Give me a hot sec, and I'm going to work on this. Alright, it sounds like the audio is now better. Um, hoping that I don't have the game audio too quiet. Um, hope everything is going alright. Um, alrighty. So, let's see. Top Hat is still muted in the. Nope, he's not muted in the Nope, I'm here. Harry! Sounding all right with yeah, sound yeah. and such. No F I'm just going to work on things on my end to turn down the game capture a bit so I can hear you better. All righty. All right, there you are. All righty. So you excited? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm just happy to get back into the game and go straight back to uh, Pachinko that we had uh, <laughs> left off last time. The the bane of your existence. Hmm. No, no. It was it was wonderful. I, I loved every second of it. I don't. Uh, I don't understand why you might even think that. In fact, uh, let's get back to Pachinko, which should just be over here. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I still love the music, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it's a great soundtrack. I honestly can't believe that it's been a week since I played this. I've uh, I've just been itching to get back into it <laughs> since, and I didn't you want to get back. You have your own game file. Yes, but it's not the same. You see. <laughs> so you're getting the streaming bug too. No, it's that I don't want to play something 
off stream if you just gonna stream it later. Mm. <laughs> <Get easy. laughs> I know you water him and that does something. Oh, that's what I did. So, do you want to give a recap for like those that didn't watch last week's stream on the shenanigans? Sure. Uh, basically, Mario has gun and is cleaning up graffiti. And that is that is the game. Mm. Um, we we finished off the first few worlds last time, and right now it's just a continuation. And I think I've. Awaken too many of these guys. <laughs> nope, all good. Oh, but your health. Yeah, it's fine. See, look, I'm good. Come on, guys. It's fun. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm pro at this game. I, I know everything now. <laughs> and that is the game. You you do silly things with water. And you get shine sprites. That that is the game, and perhaps I'll say something funny later. <laughs> yeah, here is here's Yoshi. Yeah, we were wanting to get Yoshi yet the last time that we played. Yeah, it might be good to be able to see the flipping person. Yeah, but why would you want to do that? Uh, because sight is important in games like this. To who? Just spray the damn guy. I love how there's an added little bit of percussion for when you're riding the Yoshi. Like, oh, yeah. they don't change the music entirely, they just add a little extra bit to it. Well, yeah.
You're planning something. Oh yeah, it's a big ass planet. <laughs> oh god. I forgot this is what this level was. Uh oh. What is this one? Let's see. Serena Beach, the Manta Storm. <laughs> I have no idea why, but you just look capable to me. I'm gonna put you to work. Here is the manta ray. whole thing is being silhouetted and electrified. bigger stages is just that spinning water thing that I do. <laughs> I'm good. It's chill. How much more can those things divide? Many. But I got a life. This level is universally hated just for how tiny the rays can get. Alright. Yeah, oh. but there's usually one or two that'll just hide out. Screw you over. Oh, 
Okay, that sound is satisfying. Oh, yes. Should be everything. Yeah. There you go. I mean, given that sound effect, it sounds like it's everything. Uh, you never know. Could be a secret fifth man Eh, maybe. I need a drink. Yeah, you probably should have gotten water from the beginning. That's eh, fine. Now this level as a whole uh, is a bit different from everything else. Okay. How is it different? Uh, it all mostly takes place in a hotel. And most of its problems come from uh, hauntings. but like also clearly a dumb voice but it's adorable. I mean they're piantas. Yeah. <laughs> Are you supposed to spritz them? No idea. Zelda, be sure to stay the same with Top Hat over here. Oh dear, what's happened? Uh, Zelda just popped in in the chat just, uh, saying, popping in to remind us that he's an amazing person and, and an adorable being. Oh good. And I said, be sure to stay the same with Top Hat, because I think that you are an amazing person and an adorable being. <laughs> oh. But yes, now, now time to switch the stream from Sunshine to Odyssey. Also, I love, the, I find it funny how the text-to-speech says uh, Top Hat when putting the words together as Toe Fat. Oh well, yeah. It's my signature other name. <laughs> Oh, that's scary to watch. Yeah, scary to watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not quite scary to do. It, it was scary, and then it immediately went to shot in Florida. Cool! What do you need that coin for? Something, I'm sure. 
Oh, that's stressful. Is it? Come on. Oh. You wanna know, you know what's more stressful? No. Hey, press the jump button. Oh man. That's rough. That's rough. If I could have done that, well, triple jumped while only jumping twice, I believe. <laughs> Love to know how I did that. Because then I could triple, not triple, my, jump my way to victory. Now, if only you could also get like um, one ups from the halfway point so that you could just suffer in this uh, floodless level eternally. One ending. Good. I'm good. Are you? You also turn into Zim there for a second. God, I have not watched Zim in a long time. And hey, what up? Somewhere. <gasps> and uh, slow. Uh, uh, move. Hey, wheel, can you move, please? I, I think you're stuck. I'm not stuck. I have one way out. Oh, I have to. <laughs> Uh huh. The, 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 wow. Oh, no! oh come no! on! <laughs> uh. I, I'm speechless from that. <laughs> Again, it, it's it's all the very dumb coding in this game. If if you're standing on a single pixel of a slope, down you go. Coming from a game design perspective, how dated would you say the controls and such here? Like, obviously people can say, oh yeah, it's dated, but like, put it in perspective, how dated is this from a dev perspective? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, for one thing, uh, the inverted camera controls are very not modern. Mm. Um, most games, most platformers like this use regular, like, uh, camera control of what you would expect. Mm. Uh, left turns just left and right turns right. Uh, another thing is, I, I believe I've said this before, but uh, Mario is very slidey. So if, during all this, I'm only tapping the control stick very slightly, and he kind of, like, jerks. Oh. Like he'll he'll move and he'll slide into place. Another thing is his little sidestep that he does. I'll show it off once I get to a bigger oh, platform. Oh, you mean like the pivot? Yeah. And while that's good for you know immediately backtracking, it's very disorienting when you're just trying to turn around. Like, see, th th this is me standing still and then going left. He does the sidestep. Ah. Uh. And if you do that too quickly, it can ruin your momentum. Yeah. 
But as far as controls go, it's not terrible. I mean, obviously, you know, you play the game. Um, but it's it's the fact that is the game built around these controls to the degree that you're able to learn them and learn to... I prep the able. Uh, are you able to learn from them? Are you able to improve upon them? Are you able to play the game better the more you learn the controls? Right. And I think Sunshine does that perfectly. Except for times when you bounce off of a watermelon after spin jumping. I know, a very relatable thing that we've all had <laughs> happen to us at one time or another. Now, if I can jump this time. No, nope. I, I, I'm jumping. I'm pressing the A button. Do you need to take the controller out and plug it back in? Maybe it's a... no, because it it's working on the jumping. It's it just doesn't want to sometimes. And now uh... comes the great time when you game over that you get pumped back out to Delfino Plaza and you have to go there all over again. And in the case of the pipe, you have to go all the way back to there. How are you gonna get up there without Yoshi? Magic. Or as you like to say, fuck with the physics. How else do you think I'll get up there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the lobby secret. Go, go see the manager. Hotel's haunted. Mm -hmm. Like I've been here before. I... Oh wait, do you have to do the manta rays all over again? No, that level's done. I just oh, okay. I have to scale the uh, the tower though. Come on, I was on. I did this so effortlessly the first time. Well, I mean, that's fucking way to get up there. It is the way to get up here. No, 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 no. It's fine. And why is it my nozzle going? Hey, up there. there. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. And now we get to come back here. Have fun. Yeah. 
What? Magic, baby. Fucking oh. <laughs> I'm a magician. I can do things this world has never heard of before. Uh, can jump. Wow, that was so easy. You know, I think I'm just gonna do this. Okay, not I'm gonna do that. Well, not on just... that one. Yeah. I can break my head on it, sure, but. See, there, that's a sidestep I was talking about. Uh, if I didn't sidestep, I wouldn't have stayed on there for another half a second, and I would have been fine. Of that like really large jump that you keep doing. I I think it's called like what? A somersault jump? What the the side jump I do? That one, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's just called a side jump. Okay. I'm sure there's some official name that someone's gonna call me out for. Be super careful on every single part, but as soon as you dip your toe into the smallest slope, nope, you're done. Wait, wait. Sure, why not? <laughs> that was a free one for the fans. Come on! I I went straight that entire time. This, this, was, this is what I was talking about last time, about Sunshine being a game that is meant to be played slow. Mm -hmm. You're meant to learn the controls, you're meant to learn how everything goes, and if you don't, then you're dead. The, the timing with that. Did you do that on purpose? Yes. Ooh. I need to be getting that one up every time now because I don't I don't want to do this again. Yeah. One gripe I have about this secret level in particular is the amount of busy work it has you do. Yeah. Like, there, there's no reason to have that block breaking section right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. 
It could have had just two walls, oh. and you could have just wall jump between them. But nope, you have to break these bricks as well. Because why not? To make you ask questions. Yeah. Oh, nice save. I'm good. See, because oh. I never know no. what to slope and what's not. Ah. Bigelger. At least we know where a one up is, like, early here so that we're not dying. I say we. You're the one who wins the controller. <laughs> What do you know? You took the words red? Oh. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Now you're... I think you're fucked. No, oh. it, it, it respawns. Oh! Yeah, sandblocks respawn, so if you mess up but it's early enough, you can try again. Oh! Which is the one... It, it, it's one of the only mercies that Sunshine gives you. Uh, you see, you, you, you've done all this work to go down to a rickety staircase that you could fly off at any point if you just make the wrong movement just to get to this bullshit cog section. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm good. I think it's just oh, here. No! Dow. No! So close. So, so, so close. And it was right there, too. If only I could have gotten right there. You had it. You almost had it. Did I? <laughs> No, pain brings in the viewers, so... <laughs> They see the same some thumbnail twenty minutes later. They'll know that they can get consistency with their which viewers, and, <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it for the the algorithm for the viewers. Oh. And that that damn A button. Nice. You know, that section I mastered. Any, any faster way down here? Mm. I guess there is, but do you really want to risk okay. it? 
No. And I have to use my insanity. Hey, look, I wanna. Ooh! I, mean, I think we knew about that. Ooh. And I'm good. Do you feel comfortable switching the angles of the camera? No. No! Oh, no! One tiny little move, mm. and you're dead. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> Does it? I hadn't noticed. I'm gonna have to look back on how long that we've been on this floodless level because. Dear lord. Oh, we were on the Manta Ray for maybe 10 minutes, if even. We've been streaming for an hour. Does that give you any indication? We've only been streaming for 40 minutes. Yeah. Technically. You give it a little drama, come on. Over-exaggeration, that's what YouTube and Twitch is all about. I guess. You gotta kick the balls a little. Give him more. <laughs> actor Joy's film? Wait, you won't believe Actor Joy's film. Wait, you won't believe. Why wouldn't they believe? What kind of head on the end? It's gotta be. I mean, it's say it wouldn't believe it. Have you seen that sketch? No. Uh, it's from a YouTuber called ProZD. Uh, he does a lot of voice acting for... Oh, wait, I've uh, seen his stuff, but I probably just haven't seen that sketch. Yeah. Chat, let's start a prediction. Will I die on this life? Press 1 for yes, and press 2 if you're an idiot. <laughs> Why look? Mm. The answer was 2. <laughs> no, the answer was 1. Will I die? Oh, yes. derp. Well, I'm an idiot, so I guess two is still correct. There you go. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, fucking good, good Roombas, whatever the fuck your name is. Oh god damn it! I just, I just keep that it. one up. There you go. No, I won't. What are those things called? Anyways? I, I know there's some form of goo. I would have to look it up later. Look it up now, you ain't doing nothing. I mean, you ain't wrong. There you go, having to be smart. That's what I do when I'm not trying to rip my spine out. Uh, they're stews. Of course they are. Do you need a break from that level? Oh no, my game reset and have to go from here all over it again and... No, no, I fell off the building. What a shame. This is suspicious. Oh. Hey, look. It's a thing. Well, for whatever. Oh, there we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, God. You got this. triangle over on the wall. Uh, it's like an X where I have to go find the other one to, uh... to spray and get a blue point. Okay, there's the walls right there. There's no way to... Just have to bite the bullet and accept this as far as I go. But hey, look! grabbing on. else I can do on this goddamn well what else do you want to I don't know talk about I don't know uh... not much that's happened recently uh, I don't really want to talk about current events uh... yeah How's your day gone? I mean, I'm doing pretty all right. That's good. I mean, we had a nice lunch not too long ago. Yeah. Had a nice dinner. I will say the worrying from the Ferris wheel is starting to get to me. Well, let's see if I can shut that off here as soon as possible. If these grids want to, you know, cooperate or something.
<laughs> so what would you say have been some of your favorite levels in Sunshine so far? Oh, oh that's not what I wanted to do! <laughs> not this one, I can tell you that much. <laughs> and certainly not the last bloodless level that we were messing with. No, that one would go die in a hole. <laughs> um... You might have to keep with the long way. What? I don't think I can say what my favorite level is, because, I mean, they've all been pretty... They, they, they've been a mix between reasonable and go die. Mm. So... Also, hey, are you? Ryu just said my favorite level, and like joking with this, my favorite level is when Top Hat falls off and has to redo the obstacles. Oh, uh, did you mean the entire goddamn game? <laughs> oh, come uh, on! I was there. Good strategy, though, like, dang. It takes less time than scaling the damn thing. I don't know, I guess I must be content with doing this. <laughs> I got there's nothing else to do as you just climb. Yeah. Okay, this, press the right button this time. There we go. And then finally do this, and finally be able to do this. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. That's it. That's the level. Ah. <sighs> I'm sure there's some speedrun skip that I've missed that would Look, are make we that speed so running? much easier. But... Are we speedrunning? I mean, again, we spent like 40 minutes on a single level, so I mean... More like we, a half hour, but... We might it? we might be on pace for a, uh, for a slow run. <laughs> oh, come on. That's what we have to get on at the actual... Oh, why oh, does the camera have me, Jake? Gee, I don't know. Also, Ryu, thanks for redeeming the first. Stay here. Next one comes on. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 Come on. Uh, uh. Okay, try again. Oh, they're... grab on. They're too high. I think you need to hop on like the 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 higher ledge there that is if the slope won't push you down there, i'm on i'm not moving a damn muscle i don't know what i'm standing on i don't know how i'm here but you know what i'll take it right you good Woo. this is a fun game i, I love game <laughs> Well, I mean, we have another game coming up. Well, well, at least coming into our library in the next few days. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's a secret. I'm not telling nobody. I'm just saying that we have a game. Shh, shh, shh. You can't spoil it yet. Can't, can't let people know. Well, then, do you want to set a time for yourself on my stream where you can play solo? Perhaps we shall see. 
<laughs> now, is this the one that I'm thinking? So if it is, it's annoying. <laughs> As if the others haven't been. It's a secret, what can I say? Yeah, Ryu, I... Um... Top Hat, do you want to give a hint? You're better at giving hints than me. Game Q. He wants Pinal. Oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Shut up. Um, I know where. But yeah, there, there is your hint, Ryu. GameCube. Here's back. Come to me, my Yoshi. Think is this considered a secret level as well? I forget. Yes. Oh no. It'll be fine. It can't be worse than the other one, can it? It can't be worse than the other one, can it? You tell me. You're the one with the controls. Am I? Am I in control here? No! Who knows anymore? I don't, see, I don't know what you're worried about. Um, 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 thank you. Now I stay here. Okay, can another... There he is. Yeah. It... Oh, oh, no! Oh. I was on it. I grabbed the ledge, I pressed the A button, it should have gotten me up. But <laughs> what do I know? But it I'm didn't. only... A... Yeah, get that one up. You, you did get the one up! All because you said. Wow. I, wa I wanted to piss you and Chad off specifically. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth shut then. It's fine. This one isn't so bad. You just gotta think. See, yeah, and clearly we've established that I'm the idiot of this duo, so... <laughs> now I have to wait for another... red block. Ooh. I'm good. I depth perception is a wonderful thing. Why we have two <laughs> eyes and not. <sighs> That's the one thing that I would change if I were ever to make sunshine for myself is a lot of these floodless levels have a lot of tedium in them. A lot of what? What does that stand for? A lot of tedium. Just it, it's tedious to to get through. Oh, just, tedium. Okay. Yeah, just just to get to one hard section, which I think, if I time this right, I should be able to skip. No. No. Yeah, kind of figured that, but oh well. It was a nice effort. Again, I'm sure there's some speedrun trick for that. But... Lord knows I'm not patient enough to find it. Good. Oh, I press the A button and I'm fine. There's no complaint. We done. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm peachy. I'm just living life to the fullest. Please go on the nail, Mario.
Could could uh, surprise me now. Uh, I could I could die a husk of a man. I mean, we always know that there's one thing that we don't expect. Is it is it is it the heat of the universe? It's the Spanish Inquisition. Ah, I see. See, I wasn't expecting that. Therefore, adding to the joke. <laughs> Block, blue block, come on. Okay. Oh, and there's another um, one up over there. Do you want to wait to get it? Nope. Oh, you probably should. Come on. I am not losing a life. I'm taking one. <laughs> You're just in the same loop, ad infinitum. Uh huh. I'm groundhog daying this bitch. Well, it's a fun fact. If uh, if you press the B button when you're not close to anything interactive, Mario just kind of does that. Oh, the foot tapping. Over. No, the, the hunched over thing. The, uh, this thing. Huh. Not sure what exactly it's called, but it, uh, it exists. Too early? Oh, Too I thought early. that was moving. I thought that was moving a bit faster. There, but I didn't. There we go. That's what I expected to happen the first time. Now be a coin. All that hard work just for a nail that's a coin. Alright, now please just be a straight moving block. Please don't turn or anything. Oh, thank God. I don't have to think, I just have to stand here and just let it move. Ugh. Okay. Oh, uh, but the block's above you. Yeah, I don't know. That's a wall jump. Do I? Don't risk it, don't I risk am, it. I am... I ain't gonna. Oh. I'm good. I'm no longer good. Well, hang on. There we go, hey. I'm good. At, oh no! I was at a slight oh, angle! Oh! 
Oh, the anguish. And now I have to go through all this again just to have a chance to doing it. Was I? I couldn't tell. Also, to, to lighten the mood, I love how the TTS or the my clo my closed captioning. When I said "Oh, the anguish," it said "Oh, the English." Well, those gosh darn English—they they know what they're doing. Do they? I mean, they did just lose Queen Elizabeth. Well, yeah. You know. They'll get a new queen soon enough. At least this doesn't turn. At least this is a good block. I sure am. Terrified of angles. Okay, at least that one can work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike didn't pick up your grown up. They don't care. <laughs> I heard you in my office, but the game didn't pick the screen didn't I pick you up. I don't care. <laughs> as long as one floodless level is down, I'm fine. I can be mute for all I care. Hey, you know what what uh now would be a good time to do? Hmm. Hydrate. Ah, oh, you're right. Let me let me grab my Dr. Pepper here. Do I need to go over there and get you water? No, no, I got water right here. Do I need to open my door? No, I mean I have water right here. I don't I'm, know why you would be suspicious. I'm joshing with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's this? Is there a basket? Excuse me. Mm. Hey, Yoshi. Oh. Hey, Yoshi. Yeah. 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 You got this, you got this, you got this. Do I? What? Oh, that's Do smart. You mind? Where'd he go? Somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, 
other side of the bridge? Or is that where you came from? No, you came from over here. Just down. This song was by this triangle. I think he jumped up here. Then go the other way. I ain't hearing no music. Yeah, I'm not hearing the music either. Maybe he's reset back to the beginning? I don't think so. Oh, mu main music's getting quieter. So we know roughly where he is. There, there he is. is. Not sure how you got over there. Oh. Just die. Come on, you got this, you got this. I'm I am right on top. Hate these chases for the sole purpose, or for, or for the sole fact that your nozzle shoots at it at an, it doesn't shoot straight forward. Right. And so even if you're right on top of him, you won't shoot at him. You'll shoot over him. Nice. <sighs> well, welcome to the stream, everybody. It's going to be hell and torment for a while. So. <laughs> How's y'all's day going? Yeah, I would love to chat with that. I would love to chat with you guys, and I'm sure Top Hat would love to, to chat with you guys too. For those that are new to my streams, I am Road to Dusk. I am a variety streamer, just recently hit affiliate. You can call me Road or Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I'm going to be having a celebration stream. Um, hopefully, by the end of this month, I'm going to be working on some promo materials to be put on my socials and in my official Discord server. If you would like to hop into the Discord server, feel free. I would very much appreciate the company. Please be sure that when you do hop in, there will be a bot that will kick you if you don't verify that you have read the rules within 10 minutes. Please be sure that you have actually read the rules though, as it is an 18 plus server. Ooh. 
Nice one. Oh, it's the pirate ships again. Time to help. Good, this game is fun. So glad we have it. <laughs> Look, I only put it on our list of games because I thought you would like it. Oh no no, I, I love this. Uh, I love I love the game. Disorienting. Very. Up <sighs> another. Come on. Another. Ah. Oh. Inverted camera controls as well. And very. Very touchy. Yeah. Yeah, it looks touchy. Move! Give me another rocket. Oh, how did that not oh. hit? Oh, that sucks. Hey! Come on. Give me something to work. Oh, oh, I saw that. Wow. Oh, oh that hit. I was point blank. That was point blank. Oh, how? What the? Okay. Mm. How is love, the trajectory love, with these? Love game. Game is fun. Oh, did that only hit two of them? Ugh. Oh. I'm angry for you. I'm angry uh. for you with that. Where even am I? Sometimes I point it straight at it and it shoots. Sometimes it's way above, sometimes it's way below. There. Finally got that one. But now I have to get is three. Oh how even. Oh. How even. Ah. Damn it. Almost, almost. Oh! And it boots you out? No! Oh! Wonderful. That is pouring salt on the wound. That is so putting salt on the wound. And of course, no no reticule or checkpoint or anything. You just, you gotta eyeball it. Oh, 
I wouldn't be surprised if there may be folks that say that modern Mario games might be too forgiving with checkpoints. What do you think? I mean, see, here's the thing with comparing video games nowadays is that is that you have to take it as its own game. Like, yes, a game can be built off of the success of its predecessors and be a sequel, but most games are fine on their own without needing that piggyback. Um, and I guess it, it really just depends on who you ask and what game. Right. Nice! How did that hit all three? I wasn't even aiming. Ugh. Move. Oh, that's balls. Go up! Not that far up! get those anymore. Oh! Nice. Oh, I didn't even wow. do that. Wow! Okay. It is touchy and Precise is all get out. Oh. No. God. Man, I thought. Oh, hit the damn thing. I thought controller drift was bad enough on the Switch. Give me a rocket. Ah. Hit them both, please. No. Oh, good, and they can hit the obstacles in my way. That's good to know. And I was aiming as far up as I could go. Come on. I'm doing worse than last time. That well. Just hit the damn balloons. Okay. I shoot straight, and it goes up. I shoot a little less straight, and it goes down. It's all random based on where it wants to go. I... I... And these loopy loops don't help whatsoever. Yeah, loopy loops do not help. I don't know who thought this is a good, this is a good idea. Uh, Nintendo, apparently. Oh, come on! Not where I wanted to... There. I'm only gonna get one more rocket. I right, there we go. It, it, there we go. Now it's just those three in a line. The same three that I missed last time. I'm not gonna get it this turn. This is this was your last lap, I think. Yes, it was. And this is the end. God uh, damn it. Fuck this level. <laughs> Do you want to switch to a different game, hon? No. As much as I say fuck this game, and as much as I say this game sucks, this game is just very fun. I just... I'm, I'm more used to the games of my time. Mm. Those, those of which being, you know, Mario Galaxy and Odyssey, which have been more forgiving, which... To kind of build off what we were talking about before, before I got cut off, um, it's just that, yes, there are more forgiving qualities of modern Mario games, but 
honestly, I think they're more of a godsend. Mm. Because, I mean, you've seen this game uh, and how touchy it can be with its controls, with its uh, with expectations of the player. With games like Mario Galaxy, it, it has those expectations for more seasoned players and harder levels, but not right off the get-go. Right, right. Like, this is only... You know, Peanut Park, and admittedly the the final level of Peanut Park, but it's it's undeniably difficult in a very difficult mini game that was poorly designed from the start. And I think that can sum up a lot of the the missions in in Sunshine. It's just poorly designed. Mm. On paper, they seemed fine. And perhaps in a few beta tests, they looked great. But when put into the actual game, it's just unforgiving to the point of unplayability. Mm. And based on your game dev knowledge, like obviously your game dev knowledge is more modern era. What would you recommend based on, did you go through a history of game devving and game design? Yes. Uh, to get my degree, I went through a, a history of uh, arcade games and of modern games. Mm. Um, went through different generations of consoles, starting with you know the original Atari and the NES, all the way up to uh, the GameCube, Wii, Xbox, and. All that, mm. and determining the you know limiting factors of, of games, and were games bad just due to bad direction, or just the the hardware capabilities of the time? Right. Which I think can be argued both for Sunshine, because while, while the GameCube is a marvel in itself, it's it's not without its faults, and some of those may just be due to disc space. But, you know, who, who knows exactly for sure. But... Oh, tell me uh, I get those. I don't think... Uh, give me a rocket. More like, give you a break. Give me something. Oh, come on. Oh! Let's that was malarkey. Why not? Just give me something. Well, that was as low as I could have gotten. Right. Like, you you kind of have to pre-aim. Oh, hit that. Ah. Uh. Nope. Come uh. on. No, I, and you try to correct to get the the angle right, and all of a sudden you turn, and it screws everything up. Hmm. Just give me something. Come. I hit that. I did. It clicked right through it. There we go. And of course, that time it shot straight on, because why wouldn't it? And of course, that time it hit the railing, because why wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, God, I just, I just... What do I do? Just... What do I do here? Do you want me to find... Uh, find a, a thingy? Talk about a, a walkthrough or a, or a let's play. It's it's not gonna help. It's it's all based on luck mm. and just how well you are at the game. I'm just I'm I'm leaving that for later. Mm. I'm gonna go to an easier level, a pachinko machine. 
Because <laughs> why the hell not? Novels. And that is, of course, my downfall. Man, all the levels so far just do not like you. Now, it's because... Okay, so so we were talking about uh, forgivability before video games. Mm. The big thing with Sunshine is... is uh, Sunshine compared to something like uh, Mario Galaxy is the is the difficulty curve um, where wh wh when is the switch between very easy tutorial levels to harder expert levels mm. uh, Sunshine does that very on very early on it, the first two worlds are very easy very tutorial as trying to you know, get you in the mindset of what the next 60 hours are going to be like. Right, right. And then it just kind of dumps you into the game. Oh! I'm pressing the nozzle! Um, and then Sunshine just kind of lets you fend for yourself. Mm. Being like, okay, you've done the first two worlds, you know exactly what you're doing, we're going to Assume you know every single uh, move and special thing about this game. Mm. When, of course, in reality, you know, that's just not true. Um, with, with something like Galaxy, uh, it's... It, 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 of course, gives you those tutorial levels, but, but shifts its harder levels very gradually. Uh, the, the the first two uh, domes have, you know, very easy, uh, arguably, you know, very well thought out tutorial levels. And then the fourth dome you encounter has a bit harder uh, levels and introduces the concept of a prankster comet, which modifies it, it, an old level with something new, oh. uh, like like say for example harder enemies or, or not, uh, uh, not even harder enemies, just lower health, uh, less time, or just just something like that—a modifier to a level that you've already beat. Um, and it, it just it just gradually goes from there. It gradually gets more difficult. And it seems a bit more fair because you've had that gradual increase. Right. Uh, until you, until you get to its final levels, which is you know basically a gauntlet of uh, of everything you've learned up to that point. Mm. And and the thing is, all all of those harder levels are optional. They're not needed to complete the game. They're only there for special completions mm. bonuses. Mm. Whereas with with Sunshine, to get enough shines to at least beat the final boss, you know, you have to go through some of these difficult challenges. Right. And for someone playing for the first time, they may not realize some of these bigger uh, movesets that you can have and can therefore just be lost within the game. Mm. Um, like, most people may go through their first playthrough of, Sh of Sunshine just doing regular jumps, and they'll just be lost because there's so many other jumps you can do, such as a side jump and learning how to control Flood and its hover abilities right. to your advantage. Yeah, you saw the other two, didn't you? The two what? Eh, 
for you, you're not wrong. This level is the epitome of gambling problems. Oh no, this isn't gambling. Gambling is with real money and tangible things that you could lose. This one, you're just you're just dead. That that's all you lose. There is no winning. Like gambling has the prospect of giving you something more than what you put in. This one is just beat it or die. That's that's all this is. This is not gambling. This is torture. Fair point, we are gambling Mario's lives. See, then again, that's that's if at the very end you get like 20 lives as a reward for going this far. No, you just get a shine. I mean, in a lot of gambling, you don't really get a lot of equitable rewards for what you do. No, but the whole point of gambling is that there's there's a risk of reward. Is that you could you could only, you know, put in five dollars into a slot machine and then walk away with with two dollars, but you could put in twenty dollars and walk away with seven hundred, and you could put that seven hundred in and get a payout of twenty thousand dollars. And it's 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 all that hmm reward that potential that that brings people into gambling. Yeah, fair. Speaking of gambling, did you know random fact but did you know that um, Nintendo's games that have microtransactions in them, such as Super Mario Run, um, the Mario Party oh. Not Mario Party, the Mario Kart game. Um, all of those are actually banned in Belgium because they consider microtransactions as gambling. Yep. Which, honestly, I wholeheartedly condone. Like, microtransactions are gambling. Straight up. Very much so. Um, another thing about the Pachinko machine level in Sunshine that I just, I just don't agree with is the way that it simulates the spring loading the ball mm. is that there's this you know jump pad at the bottom but of course you could just jump up here wall jump but then as soon as you do get up here there's there's like a force pushing you into the machine and that's that's like hard coded in yeah and and that is specifically for that bringing mechanism and right. that Totally, uh, uh, it, it throws off your flood to the point that you, you literally cannot use it unless the game wants you. Mm -hmm. Um, and then another thing that this level gets wrong is to, to simulate a pachinko machine, it has a plate of glass in front of it. However, the, the game sees that plate of glass as just a tangible object because it is it's it's an object that exists in the world mm. however the camera also sees that as an intangible object that's in the world and how it compensates for that is is a wonderful little thing called camera glitching where uh, the, the, the third person camera follows Mario around and then if it hits a wall, like say this building or something, it will try to correct itself and always keep Mario in view. The glass also does that, but it's so thin that it does it does something akin to this. Like imagine the uh... the glass is 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 on the other side. It does this. It zooms in so that it always quote unquote has Mario in view. And so when you try to overcorrect, it just kind of freaks out and doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you're falling to your death outside of the pachinko machine. So it just it just gets very disorienting and it's it's not a fun level, but it just it has to be done. Right.
You got this. Do I? And of course, all the funky things that I've said about slopes in the past are now very evident here. Mm. In that any sort of tiny slope just gets overcompensated to the max. Yeah. Kind of just have to trust the level to to do what it's made for to be a pachinko machine and if it fails at doing that then oh well that's your fault i guess called abusing the physics oh are you oh is there a uh... wall that's balls not only invisible walls invisible walls that only that only go are accessible way. from one side oh. so sorry you have to play the game and if you lose too bad that oh that is a but move. That is a jackass move. Is it? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> you know, as a game dev, how would you rewrite some of the coding or rewrite some of the levels for Mar for Sunshine? Just delete them, put them in the trash bin, start over. Like s some of these levels, there's there's just no saving them. Like, the, the concept is bad, the execution is terrible. Like, see, I wasn't even going for that red coin, I got it out of luck. Luck is a huge factor in Sasha, and that is what I and many other people just do not like about this game, is that it's, it's very luck dependent and... You can be the best Sunshine player ever and know all the moves and get everything down to the pixel perfect. But if you so much as if you so much as play at the wrong time of day, if the game so much as as so much frowns at you, you're dead. You can't continue. You can't. You can't do anything. You can have the best run in the world. You have the best speed run ever, and just get fucked like something by something like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 
The bottom two are the hardest to get, so getting them early on is yeah. perfect. Now the fun part. Yeah. Oh. If you fuck up once... And you're dead. That's it. Too bad. You gotta do it again. And see, it it automatically centers you above the shine above that pocket there. The problem is that pocket's there. Mm. So you have to curve yourself in order to get inside. Right. But if you curve yourself in the wrong way, whoops. That's your fault. Oh, I just realized Ryu redeemed the hydrate. So Did he? Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. Uh, hey. This I, game is fun. Love game. Game I, I, love. Love <laughs> game. Love game. Game love. Top hat good. Good game. Good. Top hat good hat. Top hat good Good, good, good hat. I am actually going to get some more water myself. <laughs> While you suffer. So glad you're letting me see. Oh, Chad, have you ever played a pachinko machine? This is how audience interaction does as well. We got a top of the audience, so I don't go insane. And who knows, maybe by just talking that might bring me to victory, who knows? Maybe if I whisper the right words to the GameCube, then the game will be complete the mission as expected. Ryu says insane in the membrane. Yes, Ryu, that I am. Ooh, just go. And that was the force that I was telling you about, just pushing you towards the center. Uh. Game good. <laughs> game fun. Love game. Game good. Good game. Love game. Top hat, good hat. Game, game good. Wrong nozzle, but hey, it got me into one of the purple cups. Yeah? I'll take it. Oh! It nice got me into the other purple cup. So now I've gotten the hardest ones. 
Nice save. Everything else, I just have to get it. Including this one. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take here. I'll, I'll be in here. Good save, good save. Because this is technically the ending area, and so then if you get in there, it doesn't want you sliding out. Uh... Which is ironic, because you could get in there before you get the thing. Right. That's... I digress. Oh, if, if the last one I get is the one in the tube here, I'm gonna lose it. You know, I find it funny how they have one-way invisible walls for the bottom most, like the purple spots there, but they can't do that for, say, the center? I'm sure they have it for all of them, just to discourage cheating of any sort. But, you know, who knows. Okay. I think the last one is in the left middle. Yep, yep. Okay. Ah, there it is. Uh, Come no. on, get me up there, get me up there, get me up! Ah. Fall into a cup, and it's fine. As long as I fall into a cup, I'll be fine. Fingers crossed. Okay. Come on. Okay, uh, you know what? See, I, I, I was physically moving the stick to the left, but that force made me go to the center. I just, I, I don't agree with that. the hard part. What are you talking about? There's no tension here. It's just one of the hardest cups oh! to get into! Oh. Are there other areas that we have unlocked that you haven't done that aren't going to make us pull our hair out? Absolutely. But this is a vendetta now. Oh my god. Hell? You know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Get the coin, just put me in the cup. It's my life motto. <laughs> oh, Gaia Man 87, thanks so much for the follow and thanks for hopping in. Hope you're doing well. For those that are unfamiliar with my streams, hi, I am. Rose to Dust, this is my friend Top Hat. Say hi. I'm in pain. No offense taken. No offense taken. I hunt around stoners and I'm just gonna leave it at that. I promise the entire stream is not just the pachinko machine. Here we are. <laughs> but, uh Oh, I don't have a pronouns thing. Uh, actually, that could be something that I could add for my bot later on, but my pronouns are uh, he, him. Um, top hat, what are your pronouns? Uh, he, him, uh, and I guess hat hats. I don't know. I'm sorry, Gaia! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, that's... Ah! Oh. Slick, just right in there. Woo! Finally. Uh, oh dear! <laughs> the four ad strings. Now you didn't. You didn't <laughs> see me finally finish the pachinko machine. Oh well. Uh. Try to do. Doesn't shoot straight like I said before. Noise. Okay, ads are over. Uh, to continue my spiel, uh, I do gaming, drawing. And whenever I can, I like to collab with Top Hat over here for playing some retro games. Just um, the one retro game. That, that's it. Yeah. Just, just the bane of my existence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was. Oh, that is. I forgot that I still had that up. The stream elements for collabing with Foxtrot. So that was. Yesterday, when I was, not yesterday, the day before when I was drawing. So. Oh, snap. I'm curious to know the secrets. I am very curious to know the secrets. Oh, uh, our pronouns are, so, mine is he, him, and top hats are he, him. Mm, I hope to guys <laughs> Okay, so Top Hat, you want to know one of the secret shines that Gaia Man just put in chat? Uh, I, I saw it, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, I don't really have a set plan or path for collecting the shines. I just kind of see what's around and then do it. Right.
So who knows? We might stop by the lighthouse after this. <laughs> I mean, considering our luck lately, like, you've been stuck on levels that have been just grinding your gears for, like, at least 20 minutes straight each. Mm. Yes, I'm perfectly happy just getting some coconuts for now. I will, I will say, Gaia Man, um, Top Hat here, like, is known to fuck with the physics in this game, so he's probably figured out some ways, or thought of some ways already, on how to mess with the game and get to spots that you think you would need a certain nozzle for, without using those nozzles. If I fit, I sit. Not exactly what I wanted, but sure, it works. Nice. That I'll need Yoshi. No. Oh, I think that's the shine the guy was talking about. Yep. Yeah. And you got to platform your way over to it. Sure do. Put my hover nozzle back. As I've discussed in many streams, no no nozzle can compare to the hover nozzle. You could just do so much so much more with it. And the other nozzles are, are fine, but only in certain situations. Mm. regular everyday platforming, I will take the hover nozzle every single time. rocket nozzle for this one. Uh, so you need to do a flaming ground pound. 
which I do not have unlocked in Delfino Plaza, so that will have to go unclaimed. Thank you, Zelda. I appreciate it. How's everyone in chat been doing, by the way? You included, Zelda. Let's have a little chat, talk about our days. Anything eventful, fun going on? Um, what's trying to go for first? Well, I mean, we did just accidentally go for the the shine that you mentioned that was burrowed in the sand next to the lighthouse. And yeah, right now, right now I'm just going grabbing whatever I find and whatever I'd like. Yeah, yeah. Right now I'm going to Yoshi to uh, to do some spraying elsewhere. Hmm. I'm doing pretty all right. Um, if you're getting tired, Zelda, like, feel free to lurk or just sleep. Like, your health is important. <laughs> and for Monster Hunter, I've heard good things on Monster Hunter, namely Monster Hunter Rise. How good is Sunbreak? Oh, it's in there. Yeah, it's not what I'm trying to get to, though. Ah, I'm gonna lose Yoshi. Yoshi can't be in the water? Nope, he just kinda disintegrates. Oh! Small break here. You need to hydrate. Yeah. Okay, guy is on. Okay. I'm sure Top Hat will remember that. Again, I'm pretty sure both of us appreciate the info. We will hold it for later because tips are nice, but. We, we don't want to go with them, like, straight off the bat. We, we, do, we don't want to be bat backseat gamed, if that makes sense. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll go and get shines um, just as I see them, but I'm not on any set path to get them or any time crunch. I'm just... This is for fun. I mean, yeah. The hell, it, it, it's been a week and we've only gotten twenty six shrines. Yeah, and Ryu preferably no backseating unless we ask for support or hints. Otherwise, otherwise, especially since this is kind of top hat thing and I'm more spectating and behind the curtain, making sure that everything is copacetic stream wise. Give Top Hat his space. Leaves is right. Yeah, I'll occasionally look at chat just to look at chat, but uh, otherwise, I'm just here to have fun, answer questions, you know. Do whatever, you know. Yeah. Because while Top Hat is, like, working on this plane on this, like, I'm sure both of us are open to... Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is an early 2000s platformer. Of course some of the shines are going to be outlandish. Um... Yeah, I mean, especially I mean, when you're trying you to 100% things. I mean, hell, we just got through the pachinko machine. Right? Um, but yeah, thank you for, like, asking the question, though, Ryu. That's really appreciated.
Hey. Yeah, not a problem, Rio. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Oh well. Okay, you're you're durian, lady, aren't you? Yeah. Durians are a special kind of. Yoshi fruit. is undead. Yoshi will forever go through the cycle of samsara. <laughs> In this game, durians are a very different kind of fruit, whereas everything else you can pick up and take to where you need to with ease. Durians, you can only kick like a soccer ball. Have you ever had durian? No, but I've heard about Oh yeah, durian. even durian-flavored stuff. I had a durian-flavored flippin' daifuku at one point. Never again. Never again. How in the hell do I get a dirty? What's this a dirty? Mm -hmm. Can't carry it underground. It has to be kicked. So where is it? Oh, probably on the rooftops. So much for the follow, man. Why is the why is the sounds for my stream elements not going off for when I get follows? That is a good question. <laughs> nah, you're good. Let me hmm. Go to dashboard. I'm gonna double check that my sounds are on for my sound alerts on my overlay for stream elements. Alrighty. Okay, I did finish everything again. Nice. But I think. I wasn't sure. Yoshi. I'm sure that's important. Yeah, some of the shines here are a bit out there, but that's most because, I mean, there's, there's about 120 of them, so they right. have to fit them somewhere. And sometimes, you know, it's it's devs having fun with, with level design, and yeah, sometimes yeah. that fun is unjustifiable. It should be taken out back and thrown to the wolves. <laughs> Okay, and then now that I've done all the Yoshi stuff, now I can go here.
Where is the Yoshi? Oh, there it is. I really missed it. You want a durian, because of course you do. <laughs> and this level is basically Feed Baby Yoshi the game. We have this, yeah. this fruit dispenser. I mean. Mm. For the record, I never actually played this when it first came out because my first console was actually PlayStation 2. I never really got into the GameCube. I was more of a Sony person. I mean, my first console was a Wii. I just missed out on it. But again, I was also one year old when the GameCube came out. Right. Oh good, a dare you. Usually this thing spouts out random fruits and you have to wait until you get the correct one for Yoshi. But no, this one this one just spat out the right one right there. Right? Hey, those are some pretty nice systems to start with though. Now I want Um. Hold on. I I appreciate the follow. I hope that name is not in congruence with a certain controversial figure. But thank you. Dreamcast is pretty good, actually. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, you just spat out a pair. I don't want a pair, so I need the other one again. Pineapple, I don't want that. Coconut. Doesn't want to give me another. There it is.
Oh, come on! Oh. I go all the way back. See, this is another example of tedium in, in this game. Is you get the exciting part of feeding the right fruit to Yoshi and having the Yoshi hatch, and then you have to go through all the hardships of getting the fish. And if you fail once, nope, too bad, that was your fault. Hmm. Also, yeah, you're not wrong. It did come out when CDs were like very, very new. So, it did make trying to do CD gaming. Like, CD gaming was. Yeah. You, you, you definitely. You definitely said it. Okay. I'm going to assume you always want durians, which is perfect for my, for my memory, not great for this fruit machine. I think it's on a set pattern. Well, maybe it isn't, I'm just misremembering. Swim back. You got this. I know I have it. It's just the game doesn't want to let me do it. Right. And every single time that you fail, you gotta swim all the way back over to this platform, wait for it to lower down into the water, for you to come back up, to then go to the fruit machine, get a durian, feed it to the Yoshi, get on the Yoshi, only only then can you try again. Hmm. Watch, the one time I don't check is when he doesn't want to do it. Why look, a durian. Just me.
Oh, come! Oh! Are you okay? Thanks for coming to stream, guys. I think I'm done for the night. Yeah, you're done? I'm done. Okay. Alright, so... With that, I'm... I want to still keep streaming until midnight, so I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to set things up to where I'm going to play... You know what? Let's go back to Splatoon. I'm curious on Splatoon. Yeah, so you can turn off the GameCube. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, I'm just making sure. Okie dokie. Yeah, save everything on your end. But yeah, I will be back, you guys. And Top Hat is going to take a rightful break. I think he's getting way too stressed out. But uh, give me about 10 minutes. And I will... Actually, no, probably more 15. And I will see you all in a quick bit.
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone everybody. Welcome back to some streams. We are switching things up because Top Hat was getting a little overstimulated, understandably so. So we are switching back over to uh, some good old Splatoon. I was playing that yesterday. Let's see if it'll work this time. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm hearing it, but it doesn't want to show. Why do you not want to show, buddy? Come on, buddy. You were literally showing not that long ago. Now you're not even showing on my thing. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that might be why. Because I do not have a brain. So let's, oh, excuse you. Uh, let's move you to be a little as precise as possible. There we go. I think that will do it. But yeah, let's get back into some Splatoon 3, since that is what we were messing with uh, a little while ago. Let me bring down the nice background music. As I'm going to open up, or at least unmute the Discord VC, in case anyone wants to hop in VC, have a chat. I would very much appreciate the company. As we dive into this... Um, let me see how well the game, the stream runs while I have it in the background while I'm playing the game so that I have a better view of everything. All right, this was zip, splat, and jump. Zip cast your way to the goal. I think I already did this, but I'm going to do it again just for craps and giggles. Because, yeah, I actually want to go through the story mode of Splatoon before I go too deep into doing any of the... Oh! It's a superhero one. Well, fuck me. I don't like this one. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a shot. But, yeah, I really want to try and... I really want to try and um, just, I want to try and do the story mode for the game before I go too, too deep in, um, in battles, especially if, um, sorry, I am losing my train of thought because there's so much that I have to concentrate on for this. Um, yeah, I want to try and do as much as I can for the story mode before I do too much on the... Before I, too much, before I do too much for the battles. Namely, just because I really want to be sure that I know what I'm doing for the battles. Like, I'm not... I don't want to do this, like, super competitively, but I do want to be competent. Okay, you say stretch your arms. Oh, that was stupid. Wrong button. Stretch my arm. Wow, I am having a low brain mode. I hope everyone is doing well, by the way. Like, feel free to talk with me in chat. Like, I would very much love the company and very much love the chatter. I'm just 
gonna go straight. Oh, for anyone that has played uh, Dot Hack GU, this music, I don't know why, but it's making me think of Pyrrhos the Third. Just so bombastic in the most silly way possible. It'd be nice if it would tell me, like, how I'm supposed to stretch my arms and do what it wants me to for the power-up. Because I'm not using my Joy-Cons, I'm using the Pro Controller. Stream's been going good, yeah! Um, Top Hat was just overstimulated because we were dealing with, well, I say we, I was spectating while he was gaming. He um, was dealing with a lot of really crappily designed levels all at once. Uh, and for like the past, um, for just the past hour and a half, or more like two, two and a half hours, um, he just kept getting overstimulated to where he needed a break, and so I'm taking over for the rest of stream time. Oh, the language roulette. Okay, you're lucky that I am on a ledge. Well, okay, that made me lose my place. But, um, okay. Let me see if I can even do this. Let's see if I can do this right. Because... I need to show my wheel. Excuse me. So the the wheel is that um, that the wheel roulette or the language roulette is based on a list of of languages that I have. Well, that's not what I'm wanting. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's try this instead. No, that doesn't, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, um, I do not know how I'm going to show this without accidentally showing super personal information, but I, the reason why I have the language roulette um, thing is that I am a linguist and I study a lot of languages and I've made my own con lines. So based on the languages that I have studied. Yeah, no, I'm trying to I'm trying not to do that. So uh, you're just gonna have to trust me for now on what I roll from the wheel. Um, because this wheel, basically the language roulette, is whatever language that it lands on from the languages that I have studied. I have to speak in that language as best as I can for five minutes. So I have included I have included English on here as a safe as a uh, safe spot, but I do also have a Tokipona, um, Japanese, German, um, my con lane, uh, Rain, uh, as well as Korean and Spanish. So you're gonna have to trust me on this. You're gonna hear the wheel spin. Gonna have to trust my authority on this, on what it lands on. No, not Klingon. Klingon is too crazy. Oh, okay. So, jetzt werde ich für fünf Minuten lang Russisch sprechen, aber ah, scheiße. Scheiße, okay. Ich will... Ähm, aber...
Ach, scheiße. <lacht> ah, ich... Ah. So, ähm, ähm, ich habe eine, äh, nein, nein, äh, so, ich habe eine, ähm, Zeitschatue, aber, äh, ich, diese Zeit ist, äh, schwierig, äh, weil ich seit, ja, ehrlich, Uh, weil diese Zeit ist uh, schwierig, uh, weil ich seit seit dem Highschool nicht mehr studiert habe. Ein dein Name ist That Boy Satan. <lacht> Ich kann nicht, ich kann nicht äh, deinen Namen in, äh, auf ein, äh, halt. Ich, äh, ich kann nicht so, äh, ich kann nicht äh, deinen Namen so, äh, so an den Achsen sehen. Weil das ist dein Name. <lacht> äh, hilf mir. Hilf mir. <lacht> ah. Wir, äh, wir haben zwei Minuten. Uh, oh, ich spreche nicht wie uh, Deutsch oder Niederländisch. Ah, this was a mistake. Well, first off, my timer didn't go off, and two, I haven't studied German since fucking high school. Wow, that just... Wow. I feel so horrible. 
I really need to study more German. Because, like, German is a really nice language. Also, let's see. You don't speak, like, you don't know a lot of German or Dutch. The fact that you know some Dutch, the fact that you know a decent bit of Dutch is pretty cool, though. Not a lot of people can say that they know Dutch. And I mean, Spanish is... Mm. I mean, there there is that stereotype of, like, of German is such an angry-sounding language. I do not know what that word means. So... I do not feel like I can say that with confidence. Okay, how in the... What other way... Because you're... Okay, I'll land on top of you. Okay. Oh, Pennsylvania Dutch is... I mean, it might be... But I don't want to... Oh, wait. Oh, full care package, thank you. <laughs> yes. G give me time to, like, care for myself after just being fucking gobsmacked by how little I can actually speak in fucking German. Because it's been... <laughs> fucking, what? Six years since I last studied German? Oh, wait, I have done this. Derp, okay. Oh no, not the ads! I'm sorry. Sorry for the ads. Yeah, no, there's other languages on there that I have studied more that I think I will have better, uh, better, uh, ability to do. Namely, uh, Korean and Japanese, because Korean I took in college, um, which really wasn't all that long ago, so I still have some conf- I have much more confidence in Korean than I do in German. And also for snackies, I have popcorn. So if the crinkles start to get too much, please let me know, and I will be sure to uh, soften my mic. Anyone that is hopping in is new to my streams. Hi, I am Road to Dusk. I am a variety streamer that just recently hit affiliate, and I'm going to have an affiliate celebration soon. I do a lot of gaming and drawing. My typical game, my typical days are Saturday and Sunday, uh, eight to midnight Eastern, um, with a late night on Thursday. Well, technically early morning. 
um, at midnight to 4 a.m. And I'm thinking of adding a fourth late night schedule or a fourth late night on my on my schedule just for something a little entertaining. Because um, I think that would be fun. Um, if that sounds your fancy and if there's anything that you would like to recommend uh, that I play from my gaming lab, from my bleh, gaming library, I cannot talk right now. Uh, feel free to, if I can use the right keyboard, uh, feel free to hop into my Discord. Uh, be sure that you read the rules carefully and verify yourself for the server. And from there, you can actually hop into the uh, streaming recommendations or streaming suggestions and pop in things that you would... I do indeed. I do indeed have Mega Mix, and I have Future Tone on my PS4. If you're wanting to see a Project Diva stream, I could probably do that at some point. I actually have an idea for a challenge. Oh yeah, I've been really into the Project Diva series for a good while. Cover as much as you can with it. Nice. How big are you into rhythm games, Aeolus? I've been really tempted to want to get Taiko no Tatsujin. I've been really tempted to want to get Taiko no Tatsujin, but with money is a little tight right now. And like, especially like for me, um, I know that I would love to get the the drum kit as well for Taiko. Um, I think I would definitely want to go for the Hori brand. I do not have an Xbox, so I wouldn't be able to get to do that even if I wanted to. I only, we, th this apartment is an accidental uh, anti-Xbox. Oh wait, really? I didn't know that. I thought, especially for like Game Pass stuff, you could only like com like game the Xbox Game Pass was only compatible for Xbox consoles. I already have a Microsoft account, considering the fact that um, I do have Minecraft. So, there is that. There we go. There's the time that I need. 
Oh wait, and that was the side that I needed. sound a little weird um i think it's tr i think it's trying to convey like the thickness of the ink so it's meant to sound a little uncanny at least that's my that that's my theory No, no, you're good. The, the groan wasn't about the joke. It was more about just recognizing um, just how stale Map Hat's con content has gotten lately, at least for me. It, is that not everything? Oh yeah, 90% FNAF at this point, yeah. Oh, and yeah, Terror, my dragon, wants to throw hands. Absolutely. Like, f feed Terror, give him food, give him strength, and then let him throw hands. I looked a little bit at, um, I looked a little bit at movie theory. I haven't looked at food theory, honestly. <laughs> Just given all the food. Babish, yes. Love him. Oh yeah. That's just my base. Yeah, here I'm gonna need more sardinium. Okay. stuff has been handed off to Alvin because now Babish has the Babish cinematic universe which I think is super neat. It helps to add a lot more diversity to uh, his content as opposed to him being like a monolith on his own channel. 
Which I think is really humble of them. Oh, I don't have enough. Ooh, got a record. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think that's the biggest reason on why um, he's done the cinematic universe, because yes, Alvin, and, and he also... Yes, and he also helped Sola. I really love Sola's work, especially since she now has her own show on, I think it's like the History Channel? Like, he's done so much to help platform other people, and I think Babish is a really wholesome guy because of that. Find all the keys and reach the gore. Uh, Sola is the one um, where she's like a powerhouse of a cook, and for a while Babish had this show of like, Stump Sola, like, can he figure out some wacky way to incorporate an idea of food with random ass ingredients to try and stump her to see if she can't make something that's good? I haven't actually, I'm not really much of a vlog person. Please do. I would really appreciate it. I'm curious. I thought I heard about her at one point. Like, there's a um, an Italian YouTuber called Metatron who does a lot of historical facts related to uh, Rome, the Roman Empire, and all that jazz. And he's very quickly, hastily debunked a lot of her. Um, is that her or someone else's um, very crappy takes? Like. Latin as a language never existed, um, and the Roman Empire never existed. Oh yeah, no, there's... Con considering the fact that there's... The... Oh.
Come on, buddy. Yeah, Aeolus, you could probably better explain uh, the whole situation than I can. supposed to be up here. in uh, to chat like let me know and I can like set you set your PNG up and that goes for Aeolus and DBS too if y'all want to hop in and chat like hop in and I'll set your character up Woo! clutch thank you I'll check them out soon oh wait I think I am actually supposed to stay on that side okay I came from. back over there. I need to figure out something. Oh. Oh, I think I... Hmm? Ha ha. Okay. Still need to, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's too far away for me to go that way. Uh, I gotta do something about over on that side. Definitely check, uh, I'll check the videos out later. Right now I want to focus on this and figure out, oh, there's an opening there. I wonder if there's something that I can do. Oh wait, the ceiling looks like it's the wrong material for me to be able to slide. Yeah, that looks like the wrong material. So I need to have already gotten up there. But... 
Mm. All right, I think I might be thinking too hard on this because I have a habit of doing that. I either go too little brain or too much brain. Baited. Oh, how's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing all right. Let me just double check that. Um, you're actually showing. There you are. All right. What have you been up to? Not much. Mostly work. I'm um, playing Smith. You know the usual. Fair. I need to get in there. Or something needs to open over on that. Ah. Okay, there's a gate here that I need to bring down. Yeah, Mom Lenial lost herself entirely after Casey kind of let her go. Yeah, I heard a little bit about that. Like, again, I mentioned uh, Metatron. And it's not just that she doesn't, she says ancient Rome doesn't exist. She says we faked the time frame from the timeline, the founding of the Roman Empire, all the way to the fall of the Roman Empire. That oh, wow. never happened. We're still in that time zone. is weird. TikTok is very, very weird. What I don't understand is the vegan teacher has got every single account of first banning. She just makes new ones, and then they wait until someone else complains for banning her. I mean, we are dealing with a similar chaotic situation with um, Ren something or other. I did not know that the vegan teacher had uh, a child. Yeah, her she has basically disowned her kid because he eats meat and makes fun of her. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, like you just said. His... Wow. Drama, drama, drama. All the trauma, and because she's a vegan, no llamas. There we go. Alright. Sorry, I got worried that 
the glass like wasn't actually there, so I was like, hold on. Mr. Beast, um, only thing that I could say, he has a decent food chain. I really don't know a whole lot about Mr. Beast, honestly. I've had the burgers from his chain, and they're pretty damn good. That's the only thing that I can say. Whataburger is better. I haven't had Whataburger in like a long time, so I can't really say yay or nay in that. Yeah, that, that's fair. Whataburger is pretty all right. No, TDS should be on. At least I hear you guys. So I don't get why it's not wanting to sound off when... Hmm. Because, yeah, I have an audio thing for... Hold on, let me... Properties... T That's weird, because I mean, I hear you guys. Um... Let me see... Oh no! Well, I mean, I guess this will be a good time for me to... Mess with text-to-speech to... Okay, three is not too bad. Uh, window capture... Speech chat. Let's do that. And then, okay, properties. We'll cancel. All right, let's see. I'm being the body and eat. What's up? Feet. What's going on? I'm being naughty and eating taffy, even though I shouldn't. I mean, what's so wrong about that? Genuine question. I have returned. Let me see if I can... What it... Topics, whatever, honestly. Let me see if this will work. Is Who is this imposter voice I hear? Eh? All right, so the text-to-speech seems to be working. Yay. But, what would you do for a Klondike bar? What would I do for a Klondike bar? Uh, nothing, because I could easily just have ice cream, uh, mochi ice cream. Klondike bars are not worth doing anything drastic for. At least that's my prerogative. I never understood the hype on Klondike bars. They're just squares of ice cream chocolate wrapped around with meat. Man, if that's, give me an ice cream sandwich. That is right. so much better. I mean, I think it's more just because of the jingle. Because, I mean, remember, the whole spiel of, like, diamonds being so expensive and being one of the most popular gemstones, especially for engagement and wedding rings, is because of a marketing ploy. 
It's not because diamonds are actually that valuable, but because of how the marketing went, a domino effect led to the, the spike in prices in diamonds, as well as the spike in popularity. All thanks, I believe it was K Jewelers who started that campaign and it stuck because it was like, you're not a real man unless you get your wife a diamond kind of campaign. Right, because every kiss begins with that, that kind of thing. Ah, uh, don't have enough. This is not the deadpan voice of a Rick Rollin, deja vu drifter. I am used to. <laughs> well, um, during my one of my more recent drawing streams, uh, someone was getting overstimulated from the, the timbre of the voice from the previous um, voice bank that was used for TTS, so I switched Cry. it. Alright, I'm gonna... Now this one, that one's fun, but like, what cost a big bang? Destroy all the targets in one shot. Oh, Aeolus, you want to see a fucked they up will be challenge? Missed then. Bring it on. So, the the thing that you have to do for this challenge is that you have to, in the words Rip of Dead Pan Rick Rollin. <laughs> You have to destroy all the targets in one shot. This looks interesting. Nuke M. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times it took me to understand that the first time that I did that. I've played so many video games, I'm like, wait a minute, there's something in the center, I see it. That's probably what you gotta shoot. I'm gonna do this a few more times, just so that I can get more of the ink out of the way. Well, not ink, but ooze. BRB slash GTG slash lurk time. Righto. Turtle O's. Ooze asterisk. Uh, Ivan Ooze. It's apparently ooze from a mutation of Octarians. I keep saying and remembering things that make me remember how old I actually am. We're bringing up Ivan Ooze from the original today. Power Rangers movie. Alright, where are some other ones that I can redo? Oh, that's Splatsville. Ivanus would get cancelled today, he really would. I I I don't know who that is actually. Ivan Ooze, the main bad guy of the original Power Rangers movie. He was kind of creepy. Creepy how? If you can say He's it. He's the Twitch. big bad in the first Power Rangers movie. I mean, seeing as how this was a kid's movie, I kind of can, um, he would, he, um, was selling ooze, he wasn't selling, he was giving away ooze, um, brainwashed every adult in town to make them and dig up his Jordan sword so he can use it to destroy the Power Rangers, oh. and this, the, he, the, the saying that he was, was like, um, get my ooze and give it to your friends, make your parents touch it, and the fun will never end.
Well. He almost killed Zord. Bro was a plug for kids to get their parents high off his ooze. Oof. And I mean his since he made it from himself if I remember right. I mean, if you think about it really, the entire movie was just one giant anti-drug thing. I mean, that was kind of common during that era though, right? Yeah. That was pretty much the whole 80s and 90s. And yes, he made the ooze from himself by getting parts of himself and turning it into ooze. So, kind of like a horcrux? Kinda, yeah. Be before, before she who shall not be named came into town no. with her idea. He wasn't living forever with them, and oh god, what did she change? She didn't change anything, it's just that she had a similar idea of like the... Using part of yourself to create, uh, something to extend your being for something really negative. At half price books in my city, I had to resist the urge to buy it, but there was a signed version of um, the um, lost, but first child though. signed by um, her, and I'm like, it's only three fifty. I should buy it, but I don't want to at the same time. Right. Who ya talking about? Uh, she who shall not be named, the one who wrote the very now pretty controversial magical series that is a part of many of our uh, childhoods. Wait, why is the series itself controversial? And I mean for you millennials, of, maybe. The series itself is controversial because of the themes that um, She Who Shall Not Be Named really honed in in how she characterized especially minority characters. For example, Remus Lupin as a celibate gay. And especially with how um, his being a werewolf can be allegorical to HIV and AIDS really hones in also the very anti-LGBT rhetoric that she has and again hones in how the only quote-unquote good gay is a celibate gay.
that in her treatment of the Till twins and how everything revolved and the Indian. That was her entire identity. They were Indian. The same thing with, with uh, Cho. The one identity that she had was being Asian. That's a bit of a big word for me. Could ya dumb it down for me? Celibate means basically... Please. Celibate, think of it this way. Celibate is part of the word incel. It is the cell part. It is the being celibate is when you do not do the private adult activities. Ah, okay. So the Eternal Virgin? Yes. Alright, I'm probably going to need to grind a little bit more. I think I've gotten all the Sardinium in this area. Oh. I've never played either any of these games. They're not bad. This is actually a pretty big change of pace. Because the typical games for the, the typical way that you do things for Splatoon is that you have like you see like the kettles that you go into like that's still a normal thing but a new thing that they have added is that they have added a skill tree look at this Like, this is some interesting shit over here. They're alright, always thought of M as Toddler's first shooter. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Splatoon isn't that bad. I really, I'm not that big into shooters. Especially since, like, the most common thing for, for, for shooters is to be a first-person shooter. I tend to prefer third-person perspectives. Namely because I just... I was raised a lot on Kingdom Hearts and JRPGs, which are third person. Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash H J means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not serious. And it was mass. Mass. Yeah, it was amazing because it was first of its kind to do what it did. This is before mm. Call of Duty. This is what inspired Call of Duty. Hmm. Remain in one piece and reach the goal. Okay. Because the Third only really first person get shooter put games aside at for that time were like single Doom, player games. Quake, and stuff like that. But they weren't massive multiplayer games. I mean, Quake kind of was, but um... It was more of a battle arena style, while um, uh, Battlefield was 
My an first shooter was FPS Goldeneye on N64. Military war shooter. Mm. Honestly, my first shooter was Goldeneye on N64. Yeah, out of request from one of my siblings was joining her on playing uh, zombies on a Call of Duty game. I think the most say, recent computer I've played. Don't say the actual name of it because the grandfather of the modern FPS. I don't want to risk like Twitch like getting all angsty. But you probably know which version of zombies in Call of Duty I'm talking about. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Aeolus. What were you saying? My brain forked. I can't remember what I was saying. All good. The joys of ADHD with brain damage, correct? Dude, I feel you. ADHD, autistic, and dissociative. Zombies Bow 1 was my introduction to COD as a whole, and I've played pretty much everyone since LOL. That's fair. I mean, if, if Call of Duty's your thing, it's your thing. I'm not dissing it. Just first-person shooters are not my thing, I don't think. I live and breathe third-person games. Unless they're rhythm games, because... Rhythm, rhythm games, music, those are always my cup of tea. Have you ever tried playing Rocksmith? Uh, no, but I want to. Because I've heard that Rocksmith is also a good way um, for actually teaching you some basic techniques for learning guitar. It is, yes, I highly recommend I mainly it play for zombies and story in. mode like, on MLL. I actually started working at um, Guitar Center and I've told a few people playing. if you want to learn, pick up rocks and get the cable and it'll be a good way to learn. Yeah, problem is, um, I don't have. I don't know how expensive um, the controllers are for Rocksmith. And like you say, plug in. Like you say, plug in. Are you meaning like plug in? Like an actual guitar, because like I don't have an actual guitar. Yeah, you literally, you, it's legitimate an actual guitar. You can get them, and it just you need to spend like thirty dollars on the cable plus the base game of whatever you want to do. Either the one that just drop, which is Rocksmith Plus, which is kind of a monthly subscription type type deal, or any of the older ones. Um, you get the the cable, you hook up a guitar, and you just play. It works off of a, um, a, a dynamic difficulty Jack setting, Black made a game so it learns also, how well versed you are in whatever instrument you're trying to play, and from there it adapts to it. Hmm. Wait, Jack Black made a game? What? I don't remember yes, this. And did. plug and plays? Oh, absolutely. My siblings and I had. Yeah. One of the, like, Tiger Electronic plug-and-play games of, like, flipping, going to school, having your outfit, and trying to hang out with people, which one of the dumbest games ever because you have so few options for anything. Actually, Aeolus, what was your first plug and play? My first plug and play, let's see. I believe it was actually one of the first ones. It was a Tiger Electrics plug and play when they first started making them with Mart with um, cheap knockoff games. Mm. I should probably get to bed because I've got to go take my sister to go do stuff tomorrow so oh, i'm gonna get off i had fun yeah 
You have a good rest. Brutal Legend have too much is fun. the game he made. I don't know if you'd like to. You two enjoy your night. On you or anything, just saying. No, you're good. I mean, yeah, you're not. I, I trust your judgment, DBS. If you think I don't like it, chances are I'm probably not going to like it. Uh, oh, there's some areas on here that I haven't cleared. Also, if anyone has um, redeemed anything, please let me know, because for whatever reason, I'm going to have to rework on my stream alerts and such, because it's not wanting to tell me when people have redeemed anything like it used to. My first plug-in was a Spider-Man game and Mortal Kombat, both of which oh. I still have and will keep till passing them on to my children as relics of a forgotten era. I mean, I always love the idea of like starting your kids off with uh, like as earliest, uh, as early of an era of gaming as you can go safely, before slowly reeling them into uh, modern games because I feel like especially if Especially if you want to help your, your kid aspire to be like a game dev, I, I feel like that would be a very surefire way uh, to do that. Like slowly having them learn and understand the different eras of gaming. My kids will start with fucking NES and GameCube as I did. Hell yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. An N64. Yeah, I would definitely say starting off with an with an NES, as fun as that would be, that would require a lot of care. Um, I know a lot of people that um, are collectors in gaming that have told me how difficult it is to keep an NES working. Because the hardware, it is now getting close to 40 years old. And people were already having struggles with maintaining, like, in the 2000s and 2010s. So, like... Ah! So, like... Taking care of an NES is needless to say. And as they difficult. get older, I will show them the different stages of gaming and game systems that I myself grew up with. Ooh. Also, who said anything about getting a NES slash SNES ICA use a Switch or get a PC emulator? Ah, fair. Uh, for some people, especially when you want to be collectors, like, they very much prefer having the real thing as opposed to an emulator. Which I can understand on some aspects. Like, especially, like, conserving... Conserving the technology can be a very important part for some people.
Oh, word. Can't die. Not like this! Not like this! No! Ah. Uh. It won't be the same but it will be nice to show them both how old and new can work together as well as being easier to get a hold of. Oh, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Also, I think I'm going to do... One, let's see, do I want to do only a few more rounds of this? Because, like, I normally end at midnight, but I'm really curious to, um, really curious to see if I can go far enough to, like, get to the next area and, like, fully clear out uh, the ooze in this area. Because there are six sites. There's six areas that need to be cleaned. small fry to reach the gold. Okay. Well, cause it's, yeah, it's 11.57 for me. Um, and my next stream won't be until, um, Thursday morning at midnight. Unless I want to do something else. Okay, you and your small fry companion will learn the importance of teamwork. So I have no weapon at all. Only use him. But I'll still get old systems just to have plus some games you can't find on Switch but have cartridges, yeah, no? Right. Same with Xbox and PS1, 2, 3 games. Oh, yeah. Damn, she really said that. Damn, she really said what now? Oh, you mean like the weapon bit, not having a weapon? Comma. One comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight sixty nine. Good. Alright. Oh, we need to go over there. Crud. Okay. Right. 
Get back over there. Here we go. Yo no notice how flies move like they in a different frame rate. How flies move like they're in a different frame rate? Mm, kinda sorta not really in a way. Really just look at a fly next time you see one, and it looks like they lag around and stuff, yeah, no? A little bit. Ah, uh, okay. Now I need... You... Ha-ha! And a huge bounty. There we go. Oh. Anyway, I'm a piece for real now. I'll lurk and hopefully we'll be back for end of stream and possible raid. Heck yeah. And yeah, I'm thinking of raiding. I'm not sure who I want to raid uh, tonight. Probably... Um, either Eldritch, uh, either Eldritch, uh, Hana, or Wukiki. see a little more of what I need to do. So let's get you back here. Go. All right. Oh, and it's just a little past midnight. All right, so let's see what else that we can uncover in this site. Good bit of uh, row. 
where's there's your core See, did that get enough to where I can go around? No. All right. Um, that's fourteen hundred. Shoot. All right, I might have to do a little more of this, like, out of stream, just because I'm getting impatient. Um, but yeah, I think this will be where I want to end for tonight. Uh, thank everyone, uh, thank you everyone for hopping in the stream, for supporting, sticking around. Uh, hope you liked the change of pace with going from Super Mario Sunshine with Top Hat to a little late night Splatoon. Um, I think. Ooh. Eldritch is actually doing Pokemon Black and White. So I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to raid Wukiki. Oh, sorry, no, not Wukiki. An Eldritch Goo. Let's see. Okay. Making sure that I got to spell Eldritch right. And Eldritch Goo. Okay. Ah, just want to also be sure that I'm going to be able to see it on my end. Uh, to do. -do. I'm going to pull this up because I am apparently professional, but not professional enough to where I am prepared for raids quite yet, <laughs> so bear with me. Uh, if this will allow me, come on, come on, come on, come on, load and no ads, please and thank you. All right. All right, I got I got Eldritch Goo prepared, so let us, uh, so I want to actually double check that I have his name spelled. Actually, I don't know their pronouns. An Eldritch Goo, okay. An Eldritch Goo, okay. Yep. Perfect. All right. We're going to end The road to here. dusk has led the raiders to you. Hello. For those that would like, please uh, copy and paste the uh, raid message that we have for our raid for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I would very much love to spend time with you again, and I hope to uh, see you next time. Oh, excuse me. Why did you... There we go. All right, so have a good rest of your morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone it may be, and goodbye for now. I'll see you guys on, on the other side.